Now, I'm going to use this switch to operate the magazine, to reinforce the pigeon for doing something, and you will, I trust, see this effect on the pigeon. Now, if I were just to hand the pigeon some food, that would be a delayed sort of reinforcement, but instead the pigeon has been already conditioned to turn and go and eat when this light flashes and when the sound of the magazine is heard. Now, that flash of light and sound can be made almost simultaneous with the behavior that I want to produce. And we're going to try another pigeon now, and uh, I will try to pick out some particular pattern of behavior and uh, make it uh, more f a more frequent part of the repertoire of the bird. Very right, fine. This bird is, uh, has been uh, already conditioned to eat when the when the magazine sounds and the light flashes. Now, we'll just watch its behavior a bit. It's not doing anything in particular, you see. But I'm going to try to get it to do something. Suppose I shape up the behavior of making a complete turn. What I do is simply, as I did then, to wait for some part of that uh, behavior. There's more of it, you see. Well, you can see that the effect is instantaneous. I'm waiting for it to turn counterclockwise now. And then I reinforce that movement. And I wait for a more pronounced movement than that. It's got to be more than that. There we go, all the way around. 